All right, for some reason, trying to do this effect is harder than it needs to be. The solution is kind of easy, but it's really annoying. It's not procedural. And I'm just gonna show you how I found it and how you can do it yourself. So first I was watching this Jake Whip video of him going over the DaVinci Resolve 19 way of doing a word by word animation. They've allowed us to be able to animate the words, but for some reason, there's no opacity control. I pointed this out and people wanna know how to do this. And so I'm doing some research on how to figure out how to keyframe the opacity for word by word. I came across Ryan Osborne's video where he shows you how to do it, but it's just annoying the way you have to do it. So I'm gonna teach that to you, even though it's a pain in the butt, but credit to Ryan Osborne, because that's the only source of information on YouTube that I was able to find. So we have our animation like this, and we're just gonna add a new fusion composition. So go to our effects library, go down to toolbox, go over to effects and fusion composition, drag that onto our timeline over here. I'm just gonna make this two seconds long. I'm holding down shift and hitting arrow key to go second by second. And that's gonna be two seconds right there. So let's extend that fusion composition to be that, that long. And let's go inside fusion. Next, I'm gonna add a text node so we can add a text node from our toolbar over here drag it onto the flow put the square to the triangle to the media out and then we can bring our play to the beginning over here let's go and type the words that we want say let's make this please make this easier all right and let me just like a black background for this real quick there and there so we're going to select our text node and then we're going to add our follower so we can right click over here we're next to the text box go to follower and then we go up to modifiers where our follower settings are and then here we change the order from automatic to manual curve and this is the main way that we're going to set our animation so we need to be at the beginning of our composition we need to keyframe this right here and select our first word that we want and then once we have our first word selected we're going to hit set first selected character delay and basically what this is going to do is going to apply a delay to whatever characters that we have selected in our viewer so right now the delay you can see it's down here it's going to be zero and so we hit that button right there and it'll apply that delay to these characters in our viewer and then we want to do the next word we need to highlight our word over here and then we need to calculate the delay that we want say i want a delay of seven frames put seven there and then hit our button and that will make a delay for these characters for seven frames which if they're all delayed by seven frames and they're moving like a word by word animation so we need to do that for the next word let's just highlight that and then we want our words to have the same length between our animation or say you have something you want to sync to then you need to calculate the delay that you need for your animation but i'm just going to make it the same for throughout so if you want to make it the same delay between each word throughout we just need to go by another seven frames so this will be 14 frames which is 14 and then ooh, that deselected because i clicked out of it so make sure we have that selected and then hit our button over here and then we want to do the same thing for our last frame so highlight these change this to 21 and then hit our button now the timing is set up for all of our words over here and now we can go open our spline panel and then we can see the delay by character and this is not the animation of our words technically it is controlling the selection of our words that are here so in order for us to do a word by word animation we need to make these blocks so we can hit Control a and then select the step in way of making our spline which is this button down here and it will make a step in timing for this which will now be our fully word by word pacing for our animation so now we go do our animation values and animate what we want for example the opacity we want to animate the opacity from zero to one so i'm going to keep him this at the beginning we go about like four or five frames forward and then keep him that again let's go back and then change his value to zero so now they won't appear but now if we play back now you can see there's our word by word animation and i'm just going to do a position animation as well so i'm going to go down to position i'm going to right click the offset modify width and then x y path and then i'm not going to keep him the x so i'm going to keep him that off and then i want my animation to be around like say 15 frames right there so keyframe that go to the beginning and then we could just drag this down a bit more and that'll be the text moving upwards and then we can also keyframe the y so i'm just gonna isolate that and make a graph like this for our y animation like that now we have something like this so that is the way to do that you can't procedurally do it it's not going to recognize that each one is a word by words every time you want to change whatever words are in here you have to go back to the modifiers go back and do the timing and then select the characters that you want and then redo the delays for all of them not the most efficient way but you know it is what it is if you want this effect.